serving him and last meeting and I served him in Vindavan. As if some riddles are going on. He was a very bosom friend of my Guru Dev. He was a bona fide Guru Nishtha. You know, Guru Nishtha always internally and outwardly serving his holy master. He has not anything to do for himself, only to carry the order of his holy master and to serve Radha Krishna and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He said many times in, on his first tours especially that if uh, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj had not come, then it would not be possible for me at all to come and speak these things. How can we appreciate the glory of Radha unless we first appreciate the glory of Krishna? If Krishna, a part of a part of a part of a part of him, is Mahavishnu, who breathes in and out innumerable universe, falls at her feet, and his peacock feather falls at her feet, then we can understand her greatness. So it's important to understand the greatness of Krishna first. So Srila Prabhupada laid the groundworks, but he not only laid the groundworks, in his books he gave also the Rasik pastimes and information. There were many disciples that had been chanting all at that point for 25, even some for 30 years. They had been chanting, practicing the regulated principles, reading, the books and becoming more and more uh, acquainted. Many of us had read the books of Srila Prabhupada and, and, and other Acharyas, and yet, at least I can only speak for myself, some things I had just missed. I had just missed. Not that they weren't there, not that even Srila Prabhupada didn't say them, because they're there in his, especially in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Especially chapter 4 of the Adi Leela, 
which is all about Srimati Radhika's moods and the gopis' moods and why did Mahaprabhu descend and take the moods and complexion of Srimati Radhika, what were his reasons for coming, all these things. My experience is that virtually nothing that Gurudev said differs from what Prabhupada taught. Everything is there in Prabhupada's books. Swamiji has written everything, everything. Ever since I joined Krishna Consciousness in 1966, I'd been hearing classes from God brothers and God sisters, reading a purport, reading a verse from him, and then explaining it. So I'd been hearing explanations of what Prabhupada said or wrote. So similarly, Srila Gurudev explained Srila Prabhupada, but in such a way, such a profound way, that I'd never heard before, that brought out the depths of Prabhupada's meaning that was overwhelming. A person gives a commentary on a book that he reveres. Isn't it a great glorification of Srila Prabhupada that Srila Gurudev traveled around the world bringing out the glory of Srila Prabhupada's message by giving commentary? Uh, after meeting Gurudev, the words on the pages of Prabhupada's reports just began to dance. It was just and, and they, they, so much more meaning was there in Prabhupada's books. And as for how, how it affected my spiritual life, well, everything jumped up. My rounds became more focused. I immediately wanted to chant more rounds. And um, Prabhupada's books, I just developed a, a, a thirst for them. I just practically couldn't stop reading them. There is no more bitter worship than what was conceived by the gopis. So gopis are the topmost devotees. And amongst the gopis, Srimati Radharani is the topmost. Therefore, Srimati Radharani is greater than Krishna. So this is Gauriya Vaishna philosophy. It requires time. This Mahamantra <laughs> is separation mode, the pralambha bhav. And I think our Prabhupada, that is Swamiji, has completed this desire to give in whole world this thing. Gauranga Balite Habe Pulaka Sari Gauranga Balite Habe Pulaka Sari Rada Gauranga Balite Habe Pulaka Sari The truth of Mahaprabhu and this noble, great personality 
Acharya, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, has actually delineated this in such a sweet, powerful, colorful, sensitive way, taking us right into the very heart of what is rasa. In our Sampradaya, actually all Acharyas has came down in this planet to teach this, but no one openly told all these things so clearly and so easily. So Gurudev said that I have to do this. If I don't do it, then they will say that, oh, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada did not give this. He would sometimes say, as did Srila Gorgavinda Maharaj, I'm speaking maybe for one or two people. And, but if this conception is not given, then it, it will be lost to the world. So I, I think Gurudev was willing to risk his own personal reputation. He, he was willing to risk everything to make sure that these conceptions are never lost to the world. Bhakti Minor Thakur is telling. Bolibha ekhane jaha tahai ei bhoi pratishtha sa pache dushto kare. He is telling that I am going to tell something, to write something. But I am fearing like Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami. When he was writing Chaitanya Charita Amrit, he was fearing. It is so high class that very rare persons are qualified to read this. So, what should I do? I should not write. But again, he thought if I am not writing all these things, then what will be? It will disappear from this world. This world, these things. And one time I was in Siliguri and, and Gurudev was with a lot of um, very senior, uh, qualified people were, were in an assembly there and he asked me, um, just to stand up and say, what is the goal of Christian consciousness? What is the goal of, of my life? And uh, when I stood up and said to become a maidservant of, of Srimadhi Radharani, he became so pleased, like a father's pleased with a small child. And, I, and I, part of that is also to show that, look how this mood, it's coming and it's, it, and it's manifesting. There's no uh, obstacle to where it can manifest. He's not just giving words, words we can read, words we can hear many places. But it's the words, the words from the heart of such a devotee, they change the samskaras we have in every word. And his absorption is transmitted through his words. And actually it creates a complete new set of samskaras in the very same words. And then we hear from him and suddenly it makes it real. Suddenly it makes it tangible. And by that a very new world of dedication is being born in a soul. In morning walks, they would all cluster around Gurudev because he is the embodiment of that gift. Yeah. It may not be that in language, like we can communicate in spoken language with each other, but that is not the complete way to communicate. Yeah. The devotees were naturally attracted always. I, re I, I could experience in my heart that there was a reality, something that he was given that was so profound and so powerful that I couldn't even understand. So it gave me so much faith that he's here and this is such an opportunity and I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. I, 
I remember praying, you know, I want to hear from him. I was sort of praying to Prabhupada and Krishna, I want to hear from Narayana Maharaj because I think he can help me. The Gurudev, Masi is Trawari, Masi everywhere, but I cannot properly accept. I pray, Gurudev, I can feel your Masi on my heart. Not only one time, nay, how many times he had told, why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu affair in this world? I feel like Srila Gurudev is given, is given such hope, but even the word hope has a different meaning since I've known Gurudev. It's a hope that comes with everything, with all the tools, with all the strength. Never once did I even see the remotest, slightest slip up. He was the most solid, dependable, absolutely perfect example that I could have ever hoped to meet with in my life. I've observed in Srila Gurudev's traveling and being with him that he is always overflowing with yeah, that gift that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give. Every conversation or <laughs> every lecture he would always end yeah, with that specific yeah, message or donation that you have to identify yourselves with Vrindavan, especially with the mood of those who are yeah, in the line of Rupa Goswami. Marsibli kept me 31 years when I joined 79, still from that day, still his last breath he kept me. I have seen everything with him, how he is doing bhajan. Sankhapur Nam Gan and so many Slav Stuti and doing Pranam, what Das Goswami has showing us. He showed us in his literature, Gurudev doing this. Raghunath Das Goswami, topmost Rupanuga Vaishnav and Gurudev following him exclusively. I am filled with gratitude every day having had the fortune to have heard and received these teachings from the divine heart of my most beloved Gurudev, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj.